Hey guys, welcome to the North Carolina Zoo. I'm Brooke, I'm one of the educators here, and today I'm going to teach you and my coworker Emily, hi everyone, how to make some chalk paint. So this stuff's really simple, you hardly even need to measure it. You just have to get some cornstarch, which you guys might have in your cupboard. And we're gonna do one part to one part. I'll show you what that means in a second. I don't have a scoopy measuring cup of this quantity. That is about one and a half cups of cornstarch. Pour it in my bucket. Now I'm gonna get some water. So one part of this equals one part of this, which means I need one and a half cups of water. And we're gonna stir it. Cornstarch is a little weird. It's got some magic properties to it. I'm sure you guys will learn all about that in science class. But it likes to make things hard, but it's also liquid and it's powder sometimes. But when we mix it in this way, it should be a liquid. It shouldn't be clumpy at all because we have enough water in here. So we have some nice milky, nice milkiness. There we go. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make multiple colors. We've got some nice squirty bottles here. Um, you can use different things if you don't have any squeezy bottles or ketchup bottles that are empty. You can just put it in a cup, you can put it in a bowl, and then use a paintbrush to spread it around. You can put this in um, spray bottles, but I will warn you, it likes to clog up um, the nozzles of the spray bottles. So only use it if you don't plan on using that squirt bottle again. Or if you do, you're gonna put a lot of effort in. We'll do some small ones. Do some fine detail art with these. Yeah. Emily, you got any questions so far? No, it looks pretty straightforward. No, I spilled some. There we go. I'm getting impatient. I'll just get in there. There we go. All right, what's your favorite color? Oh, uh, my favorite color is always blue. Blue. We got to match what we're wearing. Big one or small one? I don't know. What do you recommend? Well, what's your favorite? Let's do a big one. You, you squirt to that. More blue is always better in my opinion. Okay, got your subtle hint. <laughs> well, and a bigger bottle is good too. I'll do some purpley color, some red. Wow, I wouldn't have expected purple from a pink cap. Now that's unexpected. Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> you'll see in a second when it gets diluted with the white. This one you think would be yellow. I it's, would think that. And it's green. Because it's green. Yeah, I don't even know. But when you mix it up, make sure you make sure you put a lid on it. I don't have a lid for this one, so I'm using my finger. Ooh, look at that! It's a greeny, yellowy color. You guys, you see my lid? There it is. Found it. <laughs> Blending in with the other lids. Look at that pretty purple. That's these ones neat. have these ones have lids, so. Gotta put it on right. Nice and pretty colors. Put the lid on. That good color blue? Oh, I love it. Perfect. I hope that those of you watching, if you see a color that you really like, that you are really enjoying getting to see it here. All right, Emily, you want to show them how to use it? I'm super excited. I've never got to play with chalk paint before, so this will be a first time for me. Let's do it. Here you go, Emily. Go ahead and try it out. Whee! Ooh, it's so bright. If you don't like the way it turned out, just you can always try again and add more cornstarch. I'm going to make a flower. I just like to throw the color around. Oh, look at that blend in the middle. Ooh, that's like watercolor. Oh, look, I even have a cup. This one I mixed with blue and green. It's more like the consistency we want. It's kind of how to spread it. As soon as it lands on the ground, it, it's dry. I'm going to pour it. It does have a, it's, it is like chalk in a way. Look at similar consistency. Look at that. Woo. Go 
Do you have any leftover colors? No, I used my. I had the small bottles. Oh, okay. What's cool about this is it cleans up just as easily as chalk does. How do you do it? Just hose it down. Oh, cool. That's very convenient.